Hey everyone, welcome back to another installation video and in today's video we're going to be installing the tail light tints for the Mach-E so let's get started. Before starting the installation for the tail lights for the Mach-E you want to grab the piece that you're going to be working on but for right now I cut out the one we're going to be working on so this one you want to make sure you use the pieces that correspond to each section so we're going to have them laid out in order that way there's no confusion when installing it. When you receive your tins kit you're going to see it matches the layout of the tail light so when you're starting the installation you just want to go one by one so this piece is gonna go with this one. The middle piece will go for the middle tail light, and then the last one will be for this one. Just to make things easier because they are different sizes. So we wanna make sure we get the correct piece for the correct panel. Okay, before starting the installation, we just wanna make sure everything is clean. So just wipe the whole tail light part that you're gonna be working on. Once you finish cleaning the panel that you're working on, the next thing is ensuring that everything is dry. The reason being because some of the pieces we're gonna be installing, we're gonna do the dry method, so we're not gonna use any solutions for the installation. And then afterward, once we finish installing the pieces that are only dry installation, then we're gonna move on and installing the ones that do require the wet method installation. For the dry installation method, we're only gonna install these two parts of the tail light. Reason being because since it is just a flat surface, all you need to do is just stick the tint film on each corresponding panel so there's no need to stretch make sure you align it and placing it on each of the tail lights so let's get started so the first thing is installing the tint film that just requires the dry installation method and be these two right here make sure before installing the panel itself is clean and dry once you ensure that the panel is clean and dry you just want to make sure when you're installing it you align it on the top that way the film covers the white portion of the tail light you can start from one end place it and then little by little start tacking it down make sure while you're putting it down make sure there's no air bubbles when installing it so just squeegee it with your finger while aligning it at the same time so remove all the air bubbles And to help it out, you could apply heat, but we'll apply heat afterwards once we finish installing this one. That way both of them can dry up. Align it to the tail light, and then little by little, squeegee, tack down, make sure no air bubbles. Squeegee, tack down. Once it's in place, you can use your finger to fold. And it's just like that. So these two are the dry installation method. So once you're done, like I said, you could apply heat just to help the adhesive heal faster. So let's just apply a heat real quick and then we can move on with the next ones. Patchy squeegee and it should be good. So before we start the installation, I recommend you guys starting off with the bottom ones first. The reason being because these are more of a flat surface to work on. So it's just for you to get familiar with the film before attempting to start on the curved part of the tail line. These you require a little bit more of stretching because there is a curve on each of the upper pieces of the tail line. So first we're gonna start with the lower pieces of the tail light and then we're gonna move on with the top one. Before we start, make sure you apply your slip solution just in case any dust might have fallen while we were installing this one. Just clean it off. Just apply slip solution that way we were able to move the film around. So you're just gonna get the film and it's gonna go aligned right on the top edge of the tail light. So you just wanna align it there. Make sure while you're aligning the top, it's aligned on the bottom here. So the film is gonna cover all the white of the lens. Once it's set, just add your tack solution and then with your squeegee, just start tacking it down. To help speed up the drying process when installing these three, you could use your heat gun just to seal off the adhesive on the tail light. So the same steps we did with this piece, we're gonna do with the other remaining two. So let's get started. Okay, so once we're done installing these three pieces, the next thing is just letting this panel that we worked on dry up. That way we can continue on with the other three pieces. So the same things you did on this side, we would start on the other end just to give this piece time to dry. But to speed up the process, you can use a heat gun to dry up and then we can start on with the next steps. So 
come next we're going to start on the upper portion of the tail lights so you are going to notice when you're going to install them that the tail lights do come designed with the curve so with these you're just going to take your time when tacking down and adjusting the film that way it's aligned to the design of the tail lights so what you want to do is just grab the piece you're going to be working on so we're going to do this one so just grab the one that matches it which is the furthest left just apply your slip solution that way you're able to move the film around to align it to the design of the tail light so with this one we made it to where the tint goes right on the curve of the tail light so once it's there make sure it covers the clear part of the tail light so we're going to start off with this part first just to secure it and tack it down so apply your tack solution and with your finger hold it in place and squeegee out little by little that way we're able to secure the film in place make sure when you're squeegeeing you go slow but apply pressure as well that way the tack solution is able to help the adhesive activate and stick better once this is tacked down, we move on to the flatter part right here. Grab your tack solution, spray it underneath and on top and start aligning the film to the curve of the tail light. So squeegee and align. So this is the curve that I'm talking about. So right here, we're just gonna lift the film just up to where the curve meets. Apply tack solution. And then with your squeegee, just start helping the film tack down to the curve and then applying it to the flatter surface here. You're gonna need to use heat as well, just to help the film adjust with the curve. So Add tack solution, just to help it stick with your fingers, just spread the film to help tack down and make sure when you're doing it everything's completely tacked down to the curve that way it doesn't lift over time once you see that the film is tacked down we continue on tagging down with the rest so right here we just want to add tack solution again on this part help the film be placed on the tail light squeegee all the tack solution out an important thing to keep in mind is when you're going on each section of this part of the tail light you want to make sure before you continue you remove all the solution that might be on the back because if we just leave the solution and go on with the rest of the panel after you finish if you go back once you dry it and you see that there's water bubbles you're not going to be able to remove them because since it's already dry it's going to be hard to remove the, the water bubbles that are in the back of the film before we completely seal the film just remove everything if you do see any put a heat on this part here that way it's sealed and we can curve the film on the bottom here Just a little bit of tack solution. So we want to make sure this part is sealed off first. So apply heat just on the edge here. That way there's no water left. So you just want to apply just a little bit of heat. That way this edge tacks down. With tack solution underneath the film, Start little by little squeegeeing the film. And when you do this, try to go at an angle. Don't go straight because you might wrinkle it accidentally. So you wanna make sure you go at an angle. That way the film goes with the curve. So if you go straight, you might encounter some wrinkles, but if you go at an angle with the curve, you should be good. Once you have it down, just apply heat just to seal off the bottom part. But before you apply heat, make sure you move as much solution as possible and then from there we could start applying the heat on the bottom and it should be good and i'll show you guys right now how the bottom part should look once you curve it in and apply heat and adjust it so hopefully you guys could see this Right here, the installation, there's no wrinkles. It's all flat on the bottom portion of the tail light. So it should be good. So once we finish with this part, same thing we did here, we're gonna do with the other ones. It's just aligning it on the top, working our way down, making sure when we're applying the film with the tack solution, we remove all the solution underneath before we finish it off and sealing it on the bottom. It's a pretty simple installation, but because it, it does have a curve on the tail light, it does require a bit more time to adjust the film and then just applying it to the curve. So these two, I'm gonna do them fast, but it's just the same thing as you did here. You're gonna have a feel of how to do the rest once you get this one down. So it's just the same thing. And if you do 
see sometimes that it's not aligned, the film is not aligned, you can remove it slowly, try not to pull and stretch the film we're removing it, just go slowly and lift it up. But because this one's aligned, it should be good. It covers all of the clear part of the lens. The reason why we want to post heat the pieces that we installed is because it helps the film, the adhesive side of the film, cure faster and also stick better to the lenses that we installed. So we want to make sure we post heat everything, make sure everything is dry, and then from there, the installation is done. So this concludes the installation video for the mach -E tail lights. If you guys do have any questions in regards to the installation, feel free to message us or comment below and we'll be happy to help you guys out. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.